Develop Raw delivers deep, dynamic contrast, is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited to show you this image. So this image is from one of my uh, co-workers, uh, Tanya. She took this at this, at this beautiful waterfall location. Here's the original. And by using the um, develop raw tool, we're going to convert it into this to give it more of a dynamic contrast. All right? So let's see what we did. Here we are with the edits. Now I started out with develop raw, added some um, work with the color, and then all the way up through here to the final glow is how we got this, all right? So I'm gonna discard the edits, and let's start from the beginning. Since this is a raw file, we do have, let me put that right there. Since this is a raw file, we do have develop raw at our fingertips, so I'm gonna click on that. Now, here is where I wanna change the camera profile. I'm just gonna cycle through some of these. And Vivid looks good, standard, neutral. You know what, let's do, let's use landscape. And when I do, it'll, it'll show you which camera it was photographed with. So now we have that set. Here's the smart contrast. Look how that automatically starts to bring in the depth of the image before after, and to give, give it a little bit more, we're going to work on the tones. So here's the black tone. Normally with the white, I would increase it, but in this case, I want to keep the waterfall, detail in the waterfall, so I want to decrease it just a little bit. There we go. Now let's bump up the shadows. There we have it. All right, before, after, now it's taking shape, all right? But here, what I don't like is that green may be overpowering. So let's come down to color. Let's try uh, saturation first. So I'm gonna desaturate just a bit, but then with the vibrancy, let's bump it up. So saturation, is gonna deal with all the colors we see. Vibrancy is gonna adjust only the muted of those colors. Let's see. All right, look at that. So far we're off to a good start. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's not, I don't see too much noise, but you know what? Now that we're here, I like what I added with all of this, so the develop raw did its job. Well, let's check out denoise, or I'm sorry, noiseless AI. And I just wanna bring it down to a low. Could that help out? Look at that. All right, so we'll finish it off in a moment. But look how that tool along with, here's the key, Look how the, the your develop tool did its job for us. And the way it did it was we made sure that we applied the right camera profile to it. Notice I didn't touch exposure. I'm going to leave that alone. That's my last resort. So if I couldn't get the dynamic range I wanted with the highlights, shadows, and down in here with the tones, then I would resort to adjusting the exposure. All right, so that's looking great. Now let's get a little more creative and enhance AI. There we go. I like how it's opening up in a lot of areas. I'm not too much of a fan down in here. So what we're gonna do is this, we'll keep it mask and let's brush and erase the tool 
just in this area here. Yeah, I want to keep that a little bit darker. There. Now, look how it's bringing out the waterfall. A little bit more. Good, I like that. Now, let's come over to Glow. So, under Creative. I'm going to add a glow effect. Now, this is going to affect the waterfall. So, I'm going to go to an extreme, just so you can see it. And which one do we want? There's glow. That does a good job. The orange effect, a little heavy-handed. We actually like that. And orange effect soft. <clears throat> no, let's go with this one. But what I want to do is let's see if Masky Eyes can help us. I want to isolate that just to the waterfall. And let's see. <clears throat> yep, and I found the water. So I like where that's at. And I don't mind that there's a few spots that I didn't catch. Yeah, look at that. Look at the change it made. All right, now let's finish it off. I want to draw attention to her. So let's use the vignette tool. Choose her as the subject. I just want to dial it back a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. And now, let's add some inner light. There we go. Oh, I got it. Right there. Beautiful. Look at this. Before and after. All right. So that's how we're going to add some more of the dramatic effect to the image using Develop Raw and a few of the other sliders. Now, I love this image so much. And I asked her, you know, what inspired her to take the shot? And she talked about waterfalls is cleansing for the soul and so on. This image inspired one of my poems, so I created a poem with it. Now, what I want to do for her is when we go to WPPI, coming up this weekend, if you're in Las Vegas, uh, March 2nd through the 9th, come by and see us. I'm going to get my friends over at the Epson or the Canon booth to print one of these, and then deliver it back to her in Ukraine with the poem. But I love this. It was just a simple shot that her and her friends took. And again, with a little tweaking, we're able to take it from this to this. All right? Well, that's great. Now, if you're watching this on the rebroadcast um, and you want to be part of what we're doing, uh, we did. We are recording this live in front of the Luminar Insiders group. At the end of this, they're all going to stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where we talk about this topic or any topic related to photography or tech support with Luminar Neo. Again, that's after we do this session. You can follow this link here for more information. All right? So if you're here, stick around. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next coffee break.